Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Jenny Allen and I'm a certified life coach. I'm a speaker and motivational um, encourager. So thank you for joining me this morning for the Sunrise Word. And the word that I just want to share with you today is the secure place. There is only one secure place and that is in God. Because when we look at what's happening in the news, even here in London, and what's been going on into the in the United States and internationally, they you know those news reports can create a certain level of fear. If you watch the news consistently, you just read the papers consistently, you, it can spark fear. It can increase the fear level in your heart. And sometimes you can wonder where is the good news? Where is the where is the safe place? And there is a safe place in God. So let me just read for you a couple of scriptures. And that is, I'm going to read from Isaiah 41, verses 10 and 13. Isaiah 41, verses 10 and 13. And I'm going to read them in the Amplified Version. So, 10 and 13. So, fear not, there is nothing to fear, for I am with you. Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed. For I am your God, I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and retain you with my victorious right hand of rightness and justice. Verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. I am the Lord, who says to you, fear not. I will help you. And, you know, with this, God's promises, God's word is yes and amen. And his words are true. And that is my encouragement to you today is to fear not, especially with so many things happening in the news. We have our own personal circumstances to deal with. We have our own personal issues to deal with. And when we listen to the news, it's just adding the wood onto the fire that may already be burning in your heart. So let me just encourage you with these points. The first point is, is this. We can be fear from we can be free from fear in God, in the Lord Jesus Christ. We can be free from fear. There is a promise in the word of God to help you, to support you, to comfort you, to be a shoulder to you. Okay? And he has promised to never let you go. All this can be found in the character and the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you go in and you start reading the word and you begin to, you know, read about what God says, read about his promises. If you like, go in and do a whole Bible study on the word trust. Do a whole word Bible study on the word security, being secure. There is security in that. And I personally find that when I read the word of God and I look at and I do word studies, it brings a, a really good level of peace within. It doesn't matter what's going on outside. The peace within when I read the word, it is really comforting. So my challenge to you today is to be secure in whom Christ made you to be and also be secure in his word. Stand on his promises. Take his word as the final authority. Because, you know, sometimes in the news they say, um, don't eat certain foods. And then the next day they say, eat certain foods. Then they say, you mustn't eat this. Then they say, you can eat it. So there is no security, <laughs> even in what the news media outlets can say. But go back and find your security in God. Rest on that rock of the word of God. So that's my encouragement to you this morning. I pray that it, it uh, blesses you. And I pray that as you go in today, no matter what happens to you today, that you will always remember that there is security and safety 
in the word of God, in the promises of God. And there is security in what he himself has placed in your heart. So have a fantastic day. Have a blessed day. Have a secure day. And have a day and go into this day realizing and trusting that God is with you. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check all my uh, links on my Periscope profile and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.